Hey folks, uh, welcome to another market update um, from Charling Star. I'm Joe. As you can hear, I'm a little sick. Haven't done a video for like um, uh, two weeks, so um, we um, probably divide this video into two. Um, um, I probably make another one about the US markets only, so we just um, talk about the DAX right now. And we're gonna start off with that um, four hour time frame based on the Cetra, on the cash market, and this is my short term cycle chart as you can see and um, when we have a closer look at that trough we made yesterday morning um, we hit that um, cycle low quite precisely and, um, and so this low is in my understanding in, in the DAX and um, now um, we have to see what's going to happen. I can tell you one thing up here this is a very very strong resistance. Um, on the Cetra, it's um, right between 13.323 and 39.57. And we still have that valid um, bearish Wilbur Wave wedge here, um, which hasn't really died yet. And as you can see here, on the, when we move to the further right, uh, there is another low um, expected around the 22nd of August. And yeah, just keep that in mind. And um, I can tell you one thing, once we break that low here from yesterday morning, this cycle is most likely to turn bearish and might get into that target line of that um, bearish Wilbur wave wedge. And we're gonna stay in that four hour time frame, but this one here is now based on the futures. And what you see here is um, that's actually my account. Um, that's the low we made um, at the beginning of July. That's um, the first leg up, the second down, the third up, which finished around the 20th of July. And we moved down in a four. And now we are about to finish that whole move, in my understanding. And um, we could have seen the five um, yesterday, the finish, um, even it doesn't really look like a finish. Um, um, in form like of a double top and um, in the futures we have like an area between 13.8 all the way up to 14,052 as a very very strong resistance especially between 13.880 all, all the way up to 39.50 is a very very strong resistance and um, once you have a look at this um, formation here the so-called descending broadering wedge it looks almost perfect and um, you see it broke through that upper trend line after that third touch and now it came down pulled back to retest that upper trend line so that might have been just a retest this morning and we are pulling up even further and um, well, i can show you once we just take that greatest amount of that formation it would fit perfectly into that very strong resistance area as a target as well. So um, just have one thing in mind on the four hour time frame, um, beginning from that high here on the 20th of July, we have a, a so-called negative divergence on the RSI. And um, so this is actually um, um, a warning signal, a warning signal for um, the bull. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind. The market could turn around very aggressively, very sharply. And uh, we go. Are we going to continue with um, the daily cycle chart? Um, also based on the cash market, and this one here suggests a low somewhere around the twelfth, which is tomorrow. You have to give it time all the way up to the twenty second of August. Even that trough we made here yesterday morning and um, we are on that time frame for a possible cycle low but usually if this one here is a whole major cycle which started here at the beginning of july and um, they usually last in the decks between um, five to eight weeks and we are in week six right now and usually they retrace to one of these um, Fibonacci retracement um, of 38 all the way down to 61.8. Except if we are in a very strong bull market, which I believe we are not in yet. 
and um, then they usually pull back and uh, somewhere between the 15 and 20 ma which is um, between these two lines here and as you can see the pullback yesterday um, just turned around just above that 15 ma and we kept running up uh, yeah that's just one thing um, to keep in mind and also have an eye on that um, MA100. Um, as you can see, it acts as resistance over a week now. Uh, yeah, this one here with the first um, touch on the 4th of August. Um, this one um, was last week. No, it was Monday. And today we got rejected there again. So have that um, 100 MA in mind. And let's talk about some divergences we have to the VDAX. Um, this is a four hour time frame. DAX made a high, and here we made a, a lower high on the etc. And the VDAX made exactly opposite. It made a low, a lower low, and another lower low. And this is a so called negative divergence between volatility and the cash market. And the VDAX also has a positive RSI divergence with these lower lows the rsi didn't come down at all anymore it kept making higher lows so this is also another warning sign for the bulls and um, the vdex i got another shot for you on the one hour time frame and um, here you see these three lower lows we, i just showed you with the divergence here's that positive rsi divergence and there's also a very nice pattern in combination with that, a so-called bullish wilver wave wedge. And um, got activated here this morning with that lower low. And um, yeah, that target line could get some volatility back into the markets. So that's about DAG. As I said at the beginning, I'm going to split these videos into two. I will do it for the US markets um, later on. And um, I hope I helped you out a bit with this one here. So give me a thumb up if you like it and um, subscribe to that channel. Um, I would appreciate that a lot. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thanks.